Are you somebody that has a hard time getting out of your chair? Maybe you're one of those people as you sit down, get to about here, and you plop down. Or maybe you're somebody that has been at work all day, day sitting, and you go to stand up, and oh, your low back starts to hurt you. If so, this video is going to be great for you. Hey, I'm Dr. Ian Putney from Wellington Family Chiropractic, and today I'm going to talk about the proper way to get in and out of your chair, whether that's at work or at home in your recliner or your sofa. Uh, as simple as it sounds, this is a problem for people. And a lot of my patients come in and you know they were just sitting on the couch, they threw themselves forward, try to stand up, and their low back went out. And now they're dealing with low back pain and their day and their weekend has changed. So we want to talk about the proper way to do this, as simple uh, as it seems, because you can actually prevent uh, you know, an acute flare-up of your low back pain, especially if you're somebody that's had low back pain before. So how do we do it? So if you're seated in a chair, you know, typically we want our people all the way to the back, butt against the back cushion, good lumbar McKenzie roll back there, preferably what I like. Uh, but as you get out of the chair, what you want to do is slide to the edge of the chair where your butt's on the edge, spread your feet apart. You can use the hand rest to push yourself up or you can just lean forward, but you got to keep your spine neutral. So where people run into issues is they they round and do this motion and they just kind of throw themselves up. Not a great way to do it. So the proper way to do it would be to get to the edge of the chair, spread the feet apart, create some tension in your abs. So if I was gonna gut punch you, you would probably ha, you know, tense a little bit there. That's what we're looking for. Lean forward, but keep the spine neutral. Don't round, keep it neutral as you thrust your hips up. So you, it's this motion of, throwing the hips forward, keeping the low back neutral. Uh, like I said, where people run into problems is they don't use it. They just kind of just do this roll. Ugh. After you've been sitting for 30 minutes or two hours, that could irritate your low back. So you want to do it properly. So again, to the edge of the chair, feet spread apart, tension in the uh, intra-abdominal pressure, keep tension in your abs, lean forward, thrust the hips up simple but it really helps now if you're somebody that really feels weak when it comes to this type of thing and you feel like when you go to sit on the toilet or in your chair you can't go all the way down and you just fall then what you can do is work on this so you get to the edge of the chair you keep your legs straight outside shoulder width apart you're going to squat down doing all the things we just talked about keep pressure here stick the butt back keep the spine neutral keep your knees over your feet for this exercise as you drop down come back up most of the weight of your body is going to go into your heels nice and controlled you'll probably want to keep your arms out here to there and what you can do is just work on this motion with something behind you that you can fall on if you're not strong i see a lot of patients that can't sit down without plopping and they're doing a million different exercises and if they would just work on the proper way to sit and do a chair squat they would get stronger and the problem would probably go away. So that's the best way to get out of the chair. And that's a good exercise you can try if you feel like you're weak when it comes to getting up or sitting down. So hope this uh, video helps and we'll talk to you soon.